Here on Capitol Hill, a number of bills have been introduced on data and how companies and government can use it. You've been alerted. Change your passwords. Like a lot of us, Representative Walt Brooks has had personal info taken in data breaches. So now he's running a bill on data privacy. It gives companies an affirmative defense in a lawsuit if they can prove they keep data security up to date. It doesn't give them immunity and it doesn't uh, release them from liability, especially if they're negligent. Lawmakers here on Capitol Hill are running a number of bills, from regulating government's use of facial recognition to criminalizing catfishing. With the intent to harm, defraud, intimidate, or threaten another individual. Representative Carrie Ann Lisenby has filed a bill that makes online impersonation a crime. A constituent brought the issue to her. It goes after malicious accounts online with criminal penalties. And it can have really serious and harmful consequences in people's lives. And a lot of times, um, you know, we people tend to hide behind the, you know, the guise of social media or online anonymity and then don't really put the consequences to their actions together with what they're doing. Following the scandal surrounding Banjo, the House Majority Leader has introduced a bill to create a state privacy officer. It's also looking at how state agencies and local agencies collect and store personal private data. It's your social security number, it's your driver's license number, it's your address, it's all of those personal identifiers. Banjo is a Utah company that uses artificial intelligence to sweep up social media posts, traffic cameras, and other government data to create a near real-time alert system. But both Republicans and Democrats say Banjo goes too far and is almost big brother. Its state contracts were put on hold and this bill is in response to it and similar companies regulating government interaction. If privacy is being abused, it will go to that agency and say, hey, you've got to change that practice. Government is often criticized for being reactive to tech advances. The House Majority Leader says it may get ahead of things for consumer privacy. But we're just trying to put something in place so that as these technologies come, we can be very quick in the way we react. Now, Silicon Slopes, the group that represents Utah's tech industry, says it's still reviewing the bills and whether it will support them. Some of these bills obviously have support from civil liberties groups. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.